we're ready. <clears throat> so I dance when you say I dance. That's how this works. <laughs> Welcome to What the Fuck is in the Box, a show where we take a couple minutes to show you what comes in the box. Today I have with me Eric Friedman. Ladies and gentlemen, Eric Friedman. Ta -da! He does like nice. the music, you know. That was really nice. I don't get that very often. Thank you, Drew Fisher. The boys in blue. Thank you. That's right. I wish you were with me. I don't know where to look anymore. Yeah. What'd you bring with you? I brought. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you brought this. We brought the uh, Datacom Recess Pro Power Kit with duplex receptacle and straight blade inlet. What the hell did you just say? The name just rolls right, <laughs> right off the top. <laughs> That's right. How much tell the part number? That's right. That is a... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> That's a 45-024-WH, Eric. 0024-WH, I believe. Oh, okay. <laughs> Am I correct? No. Not even close, bud. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, let's get Sick into the bad boy. There's going to be things. Let's take it all out. This one kind of uh, should be laid out, don't you think? Uh, we're going to have to lay it all out. We're not have the to cable. lay it all out. Not the cable. That's right. You leave the cable alone. I like this chair in the middle of this, by the way. <laughs> mm. This is a great separator. Can't give this one a footstep on, you know? All right. All right, we got a bag inside of a bag. You can talk about, all right, let's talk about what this is first and foremost. Please. Uh, this is an opportunity to have not only a place to run your cables and a nice finished look, but a place to transmit and, and run power if you don't have power. So we've done different types of, uh, of power relocation kits before. This one is more or less a, relo uh, a power relocation kit with a hood for AV cables, which is a really, really nice piece that they added. Keep the rain off of it? Can I what? Does it keep the rain off of it? You said hood. Does it contain the engine? It's the hood. Look, it's a hood. I'd call it a cap. Cover. Let's agree to disagree. Hood. Okay. <laughs> Wear a hood on your head or your car. So we'll go through, Eric. Talk about the features of this piece. So you can see that you've got a hood here that you can get your cables <laughs> directly in. Uh, so, as you mentioned, right, you've got the um, port for the power mm -hmm. in here, as well as for you to run your low voltage and your high voltage through. Um, and it's cornered off to help to non-snag the cables on the way in. Right, so when you actually mount that, you would mount it like that, correct? Yes, correct. And then this is actually going to be a receptacle where your power is run to, right? So that will sit, you can go ahead and show them how that sits mm -hmm. there. Gonna sit like that, kind of, behind your TV and or or your screen or monitor, wherever you're putting it, and that's gonna allow you to run your AV cables through this hood, and it's gonna allow you to run your power there. Now, in the wall, you will use Romex sold separately. It does not come with the Romex cable, but you'd use Romex to connect this yep. device right here to these cables right here. So Romex in the middle of these, and that's basically going to allow you to use the earlier found extension cable. On the bottom. On the bottom. And you're going to plug that into an outlet. Behind the credenza. And it plugs. Nice use there, Eric. Thank you. And then it will plug in right here. Again, you do have another hood on this, right? This one would sit like this, Eric. Why does it sit this way? Why does it sit that way? Fish the wires down from the wall. Right. Out the through the upside down hood. Right in there. And smooth rundown. So when you use this, you will basically be taking with a piece of Romex in the middle. You're Why wouldn't you just sink an outlet in the wall, by the way? Why are we using these hoods and recessed boxes? Well, low voltage electrician license is, is something. Another piece is that um, you already really have power run down near where most of your components are gonna be running out. Why not use it, right? Yep. Why run another cable from the attic when you can really just use this extension cable into this box and run one single piece of Romex up the wall where you're already fishing all your components anyway. Sure. And you've obviously got, when you recess it, the ability to flatten that TV against the wall for an even tighter look. A lot of these TVs now come on such a small bracket. They're meant to sit really, really tight against the wall. And so when you recess in all your cords, the low voltage, the HDMI, and the power, you can sit that thing much more flush against the wall. And a really nice installer-friendly feature. I do like that they did not tuck the connection wires behind a box before you have to connect the Romex. So you do get room to pull your Romex through, connect it. They have a separate box that goes over those wires once you have everything connected and seals down. That way you're not 
trying to run them through a small hole and then having to do all your wires in a very small space. You're free to do all that beforehand and then connect the box. And they do have little gaps here to run the wire through prior to doing the connection. I gotta be honest, when I mess with stuff like this, the wires, and I get into those small spaces, I'm like when you see those movies with the guy trying to do a bomb, right? And it's yeah. ticking down, it's got yeah. sweat flying off of his head everywhere. See, all done. Rog. Grab the cat. Yeah. I look like that normally. Yeah, I understand. That's, that's today right now. You look like that. So, <laughs> but overall, I think the guys at Datacom did a great job um, with this piece. This is really made for the installers. This does go behind the scenes, even even down to the dog ears mm -hmm. using metal instead of plastic. Not a thought right? went into these, absolutely. But you can tell that these are very thick, rigid plastic. It does feel like it can take, it's got some, some stress that can be applied to it. Gosh, I feel bad for whoever wins this. It's going to have Eric's teeth marks in the wall now. It's fine. It'll be fine. He's got very straight teeth, by the yeah. way. I don't know if you've noticed. Shockingly straight. So we thank the folks at Datacom. Mm -hmm. Then we raffle this thing away. We Some do. lucky winner gets it. You got a comment, right? You, you got a comment. Put your dealer name or number in there. We do appreciate the likes. Eric needs to be liked a lot more than he you is. You have to like this video, whether you like me or not. You have to like the video. <laughs> I mean, that's just that's that's a, part of the fun it's here. It's valid. It's part of it. Yeah. Please so subscribe. Like. We do like subscribers. Do it. I like them. Miss you guys. We'll see, see you soon. soon. That just happened. Whoa. Ta-da! <laughs>